السلام عليكم جميعا خير الحضور في هذا اليوم يوم الثلاثاء 28 شعبان 1441 موافق 21 ابريل 2020 نسعد به ان شاء الله نقطه وزاره الدكتوراه بعنوان The Rule of NSKBB and AHR Transcription Factors and the Binary Toxicity of Accumulated Exposure in Deep Rat Model and in Vitro Human Cell Line. تقدم لي الطالب ابراهيم عطافي قسم علم الادويه والسموم لنيف درجه الدكتوراه. في البدايه اشكر اللجنه لقبولها المشاركه في هذه المناقشه وتكفلتها على على قراءه الثيسس ومراجعتها. سعاده الدكتور بهاء الدين محمد حافظ الرفاعي كمنتحن خارجي سبيشالست ان سيلولار اند مولوكيولار باثولوجي و ان كينج عبد الله انترناشونال ميديكال ريسيرش سنتر والاخوه الزملاء سعاده الاستاذ الدكتور محمد بطار الحربي والاستاذ الدكتور صبري محمد عطيه والاستاذ الدكتور عبيد الحربي من قسم علم الادويه والسموم كليه الصيدله جامعه المدفون وحقيقه قبل ان اقدم الطالب اود يعني اتوجه شكر والعفان والتحيه للمشرف السابق لرساله الطالب ابراهيم عطافي الدكتور هشام محمد بن قرشي رساله الدكتور هشام هو الذي يعني انسب الخطوط الرئيسيه لهذه الرساله بعد الدكتور يعني توجه توجه للمشرف وهو معنا اليوم يحضر من هذه المناقشه نتوجه له بالتحيه لما قدمه من جهد ووقت في متابعه الفلوغ للطالب بداية عرض البوزل الى الى عمليه السبشن او الريبليكيشن والحقيقه اللي قدمه طالب ابراهيم في رساله الدكتوراه هو نفس تقريبا الفيلد اللي كان اشتغل عليه في رساله الماجستير الماستر ديجري اللي اخذها من قسم علم الادويه والسموم كانت بعنوان الايفالويشن اوف جينكس بشيب بروفايل ان سعودي انديفيدوال اكسبوز تو انفيرمنتال هيفي ميتالز ان مهد الذهب ريجو فحقيقه كانت عند سوبرفيجن ماي سوبرفيجن عند دكتور هشام فكان الطالب حقيقه يعني تكبد نشاط كبيره في السفر وجلب العينات من مناطق الملوثه في مناطق في منطقه مهد الذهب منطقه عارفين هذه منطقه معادن نجيم كانت فيها تلوث المعادن الثقيله وذاك الوقت حقيقة عرفنا يعني ابراهيم حقيقة كان يعني في تميز علما ومتميز علما وخلقا وسلوكا وكان حقيقة يعني ظهرت جديته ومثابرته في العمل وكان يعني حب البحث العلمي وكان يحب دائما يطور نفسه ويطور مهاراته واهتماماته البحثية كان يعني دائما يسعى انه يعني يحقق افضل النتائج وكل ما وكل لي من واجبات واعمال. فالان يشرفني ان يسعدني ان اقدم لكم الطالب ابراهيم محمد عطافي تو بريزنت هيز تيسيس. نعم. ثانك يو بروفيسور طارق اند ناو اي ويل ستارت ذا بريزنتيشن. Good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon. It's my pleasure to present today my thesis or PhD degree in toxicology. The title of my thesis will be the role of NFKB and HR transcription factors in pulmonary toxicity of acute lead exposure in fever rat models and in vitro human line cell line. The content of my thesis. Uh, this is the content of my thesis. First, I will give a brief background uh, and statement of the problem. Uh, then, what is the mechanism mediated lead toxicity, including lead induced immune system alteration? Then, transcriptional involvement in immune response, particularly NFKB and HR involved in lung immune responses. 
Then the transcription targets oblate in the US pulmonary toxicity. Then the hypothesis and objectives of my detail. And I will give you information about what is the material methods used to test my objective. I focus in more details in the results and discussion. Uh, and uh, by end of uh, end up with summary and conclusion of my work and uh, acknowledgement. Uh, this is a toxic capital with non-biological function and persist in nature, and it's very toxic even in very small traces, and thus lead is considered the second hazardous substance based on the toxicity and potential for human exposure according to Agency for Toxic Substances and Disease Registry. And I, as you see in this table, lead rank is the second hazardous substance since 2001 until 2019. Uh, lead exposure mainly occurs from inhalation or ingestion and remains a major concern in several countries. Therefore, many people worldwide are still at high risk of lead exposure, particularly in polluted areas. In this regard, the previous study has reported that exposure to lead is associated with immune dysfunction and increase of the susceptibility of to, to various diseases and serious toxicity to various organs such as kidney, heart, liver, brain, and lungs. The lung is considered as primary source organ for lead exposure, and it has been reported that lead highly accumulated in the lung. Previous studies have reported that the rate of lung cancer incidence and mortality have been increased in those who had high level of lead. Lead induced toxicity through several mechanisms, including oxidative stress, apoptosis, and inflammation. In this regard, lead exposure has been shown to increase or induce oxidative stress uh, genes, uh, for example, GSTA1 uh, effect and uh, apoptotic genes, uh, apoptotic, apoptotic genes, in, uh, for example, BCL2 and B53, and inflammation genes, uh, for example, IL4 and IL10. Which, induce, which lead to induce organ toxicity. A human experimental animal study has shown that lead exposure affects the production of variety of immune cells and production of inflammatory mediators such as cytokines. Mechanistically, these cytokines and other immunomediators are shown to be regulated by several transcription factors such as nuclear uh, factor kappa B and aryl hydrocarbon receptor HR signaling pathway. NF kappa B and HR are transcription factors that regulate many physiological and pathological processes, including immune and inflammatory responses. The evidence implicating nf B and HR pathway on immune system modulation is increasing. In this regard, the gene knockdown studies have found that nf B and HR can have an essential role in immune responses. As seen in this figure, nf B and HR stimulate uh, transcription of several genes involved in oxidative stress, apoptosis, and inflammation. NSKB is a, cyto a, cyto a cytosolic transcription factor composed of protein complex, including B50 and B65, uh, which are retained uh, in inactive uh, form in cytosol through their interaction with IKB protein, inhibitory protein. In the lung, uh, 
It was reported that in its cavity, play an essential role in lung inflammation and the release of different medi uh, mediators that activate fibroblast mediated lung fibrosis. And upon the activation of uh, NF gamma B uh, by IK, uh, IKK uh, phosphorylate with phosphorylate, the inhibitor of the protein, and then abstinated and degraded. The diaphragm NF gamma B then will trans tra translocate to nucleus and bind to responsive elements to transcription several genes involved in several physiological pathological actions such as apoptosis, angiogenesis, oxidative, oxidative stress, proliferation, immunity, and inflammatory cytokines. Uh, cytosonic transcription factor composed of protein complex, uh, including HR and GHOC protein 90. Upon activation of it uh, by binding to its ligands such as the uh, the HR translocated to nucleus, uh, where it uh, binds to responsive elements to transcribe to, to transcription, induced transcription of several genes involved in oxidative stress, apoptosis, angiogenesis, proliferation, and inflammation. Uh, in the lung, HR activation modulates the immune system cells and play an important role in lung inflammation. A close talk between HR and NSKB has been reported in both in vitro and in vivo studies, which play a key role in inflammation responses. Interestingly, the nf and HR interaction have been reported also in mouse and human lung tissue, which play a role in inflammation. And interestingly, and uh, recently, the overexpression of HR significantly increased in nf activity and thus promoting the development of lung adenocarcinoma. The other example of uh, activation of uh, HR it will activate by polyaromatic hydrocarbons, which activate HR to produce CYP1A1 that metabolize polyaromatic hydrocarbons to, pro to produce the active uh, metabolite, which uh, increase the reactive oxygen species production that also activates the NF NF by indirect. The other example. Uh, tetrachlorodibenzodioxine, which activates the AHR to produce several genes involved in inflammation and indirectly activates the NF cavity to produce uh, fast and fast cell that uh, responses to uh, activate the uh, apoptosis in T cells. In vivo and in vitro studies demonstrate that lead exposure induced modulation uh, of several signaling pathways and transcription factors, among which the nuclear factor Kappa B and HR are targeted by lead and enhanced trans transcription process of several genes involved in oxidative stress, apoptosis, and inflammatory. The exact mechanism of lead. Uh, induced immunotoxicity in the lung tissue is not yet fully clarified. So the, the rationale of this study was NF company and HR are now to be expressed in the lung and play a critical role in lung cell development and maintenance survival and inflammation as well as apoptosis and autophagy. In addition, uh, it has been found to influence nf B and HR gene expression, and uh, uh, there is no single study that now was conducted to link lead nf B, HR, and lung immune uh, system. Therefore, we hypothesize that lead exposure induced pulmonary toxicity through 
the modulation of NF-KB and HR transcription factor signaling pathway. And to test uh, our hypothesis, the following aim should light the molecular mechanism involved in this uh, toxicity. Uh, to, the first aim to investigate the pulmonary toxic effect of lead exposure in vivo rat lung model and in vitro human lung cells. The second aim was to determine the potential effect of lead on NF cavity and HR pathways in lung cells at mRNA and protein level in vivo and in vitro. The third aim was to explore the role of NF cavity and HR in lead mediated pulmonary toxicity in vitro using genetic and clinical inhibitors. Now I will shift it to the material and method. Experimental design and treatment of in vivo study uh, present in this figure. 24 adult uh, albino western rats with about uh, uh, 230 grams were ran randomly distributed into four groups. Uh, four group study of six rats each. The first group was received normal saline 2.5 ml per kilogram per day. The second, third, and fourth group receiving, uh, receiving lead nitrate 25, 50, and 100 milligram per kilogram orally. One day after uh, the last dose, all animals uh, sacrificed, uh, all animals were uh, organized under halogen, anesthesia, and blood samples were collected by a cardiac blood for serum analysis. Uh, and uh, rat, rat organ tissue were excited and processed for histopathological determination of lip, uh, lipid of mRNA and protein and uh, flow cytometry and metabolic analysis. Uh, in vitro study, human adeno carcinoma, human adeno carcinoma alveolar type 2 cells A549 were maintained in demon with denol uh, red supplement with G supervised serum with anti anti 1%. That, uh, the experimental design of in vitro study uh, is presented in this figure. Uh, A549 cells grow in the uh, 75 tissue culture blast at uh, 37 degrees, uh, degrees centigrade under humidified environment. And the medium was changed every other day, and the field were subculture every three days. Uh, Thereafter, the MTT, uh, the, the, the MTT were, were used, uh, was used to uh, determine the uh, lead concentration of lead was used in the consequence analysis. Uh, to measure the capacity of lead to induce lung inflammation, serum level of lung injury anti-inflammatory protein, including myelopeptide, proteinase, and lactate dehydrogenase, CKMB, and immunoglobulin uh, were determined. And, with, uh, and we did histopathological examination briefly uh, to determine the effects of lead in, on, his, uh, on the histology of vital organs in rat, brain, heart, kidney, and lung tissue obtained from control and lead exposed groups. Animals were analyzed using hemat hematoderine and eosin staining. Abortion of brain and heart, uh, kidney and lung tissue were fixed in 10 versions for marine and then uh, paraffin embedded tissue section stained with H and E for examination of histopathological changes under light microscopy by histopathologists. For elemental analysis, lung tissue sample were homogenized by mechanical dissociation using the stomach machine and digested in your nitric acid at 70 degrees centigrade for 12 hours by microwave digestive uh, system. 
that I get the example where diluted by ultraviolet ionized water and then elemental profile was analyzed using an ICBM as an instrument. For metabolic organic analysis, lung tissue samples were homogenized by mechanical dissociation using chemicals and extracted by solid based extraction method according to manufacturing protocol. The extracted residue were reconstituted by methanol and analyzed using non target screening method via DT and instrument. For cell damage analysis, cells were treated with lead for 24 hours and then washed with phosphate buffer saline, detached with trypsin, and collected by centrifugation at 300 cavity for five minutes, and then resuspended in, uh, in a BPS buffer before using immune assay case according to manufacturing instructions. The principle of uh, flow cytometry analysis, the flow cytometry will measure the intensity of flow of forward scatter detector, which represents the cell size, whereas the side scatter detector will, uh, which uh, will measure the cell complexity and the intensity of uh, color will represent the cell damage. For uh, RNA expression level, uh, for gene expression level analysis, total RNA was isolated using triangle method. The RNA quantity and quality were determined using nano drops. The CDNA synthesis was performed, and the change in mRNA level of gene of interest in response to the treatment was quantified by real time DCR using Cyber Green Master Mix. For protein expression level analysis, the total protein was extracted, separated in 10% uh, uh, sodium, digitized, sulfate, polyacrylamide, gel, electrophoresis, then transferred into cellular, cellular membrane by electrophoresis. The expression of protein was measured by Western plot analysis using specific primary and secondary antibody, uh, antibodies. The quantification of Western blot was performed using uh, CD-digit uh, CD blot scanner uh, using enhanced uh, simulation method according to manufacturer uh, instructions. Uh, and also to explore the role of NFKB and DHR cells were to be treated for two hours with the inhibitors. Uh, including uh, metformin as AHR inhibitor and uh, desperatrol as NFKB inhibitor, uh, and then exposed to lead for 24 hours. Then the effect on the cell cycle arrest, apoptosis, necrosis, and oxidative stress in the cell uh, were determined by flow cytometry. And the effect of the level of oxidative stress, apoptosis, inflammatory genes. In RNA level in the, uh, in the, in the cells were de uh, determined by using uh, RT PCR. Uh, and if can be, and the other, then the other approach using to knock down uh, analysis of, of silencing uh, of gene. Uh, NFKB and HR silencing using small interference RNA. Uh, the technology. Uh, cells were transfected using live uh, 2000 for 24 hours with either HR and NFKB RNA. Uh, thereafter, the cells were washed and then incubated with lead for additional uh, 24 hours. NFKB and HR mRNA were then quantified by using. Uh, by quantified by using rt -BCR to ensure a significant knock down. The effect of NFKB and HR knockdown apoptotic and oxidative stress marker were uh, then determined.
statistical analysis, all statistical analysis were performed using sigma blots for winter. Statistical significance was determined by either student thesis or one way another, followed by data test. Data are presented as mean, plus or minus, standard error of means, and B value under 0.05 was considered statistically significant. Now I will shift it to, uh, I will start with the results. The first aim, aim was to investigate the pulmonary toxic effects of late exposure in vivo rat lung model and in vitro human lung cells. And the result of late level in vital organ represents that. Uh, at high dose of lead uh, accumulation was high in the lung and kidney. The results also indicated the higher dose of lead administered the higher of its uh, accumulation. Uh, the result of serum analysis represents that a significant decrease in serum IgG level and increase in marine peroxide creatinine kinase in the and LDS suggesting their role in late induced inflammation. Additionally, uh, the results of uh, GCMS analysis represent that. Uh, tyrosine and beta octyl acetophenone were only observed in the lung and also in the in those uh, dependent. Importantly, tyrosine uh, plays uh, an important role in metabolism and uh, has been has been shown showing to compare to nitro tyrosine about nitration. By uh, MBO, which already increased in uh, our uh, in, in ex our exposed group, uh, which contributes to lung inflammation disease and our process. <laughs> However, the analysis of inorganic compounds profile revealed that. A decrease level, level, a decrease level of magnesium in rat lung uh, in the in those dependent manner. Magnesium uh, also play an important role in both immune and respiratory system. It has been demonstrated that magnesium deficiency promotes excess intracellular calcium entry, leading to oxidative stress and lung inflammation. As the result of apoptosis induction analysis represents that an increase in the percentage of apoptotic cells in rat lung of late exposed group in uh, those dependent manner. Uh, furthermore, the increase in the percentage of apoptotic cells in rat lung was accompanied by a significant decrease in GCL2 uh, mRNA level and increases in TG and TGF alpha mRNA. Both GCL2 and TGF alpha are involved in modulation of amortosis. The result of inflammatory uh, gene expression analysis represents that the gene. Uh, a significant increase in sig one a one and sig one a one and IL four and IL ten and TNF alpha and decreases in IL eight and FX mRNA. The induction of TNF alpha and INOS uh, have been associated with lung inflammation. And increase the developing, uh, developing of uh, lung fibrosis and cancer. Both TNF alpha and INOS are considered as inflammatory and apoptotic regulators. 
when I'm going to create and uh, edit, uh, which represents the uh, input side hydroxylase uh, that uh, responses to a metabolism of epoxide uh, 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 intermediate. That decrease in the gene expression of FX, which is involved in detoxification of epoxide intermediate mediate, like this thing that increase in epoxide formation and risk of the inflammatory disease. The results of histopathological investigation represent that oral lead. Uh, induce inflammatory histopathological changes in vital organs, including rats. The various picture represents that a control group, whereas the two, uh, A2 and A3 represent the exposed group in, from different, uh, the same tissue from different areas. In the heart tissue, lead induce market congestion and interstitial inflammation, fibrosis, focal cardiac muscle. Uh, degeneration. Uh, in the brain uh, tissue, late induced uh, cellular degeneration and increase in inflammatory cells, whereas no marked histopathological changes were found in the kidney. Importantly, in the lung, severe interstitial inflammation and fibrosis were observed. Uh, the vitro, the in vitro study, we start with uh, cell proliferation uh, assay to uh, determine the concentration of lead was used for sequence analysis. And we select 100 micromolar, uh, the, that, the, the concentration was selected uh, to represent the initial toxic effect of lead. The results of autophagy analysis represent that late exposure produced no significant uh, changes in autophagy induction ratio. The results of cell cycle uh, analysis represent that uh, treatment of cells will lead in the use cell cycle arrest. The results of cell apoptosis analysis represent that the percentage of cell, uh, the percentage of apoptotic cells increased in lead treated cells by 50%. And this was accompanied by uh, increase in the mRNA level, expression level of B53 uh, by 90%. Uh, the results of apoptosis analysis represent that, as you see in this picture, uh, the ROS formation increased in the late treated cells by approximately six, was from uh, six percent, approximately six percent to thirty one percent, and this was accompanied by uh, significant inhibited in mRNA expression level of just. Uh, uh, one by 60 uh, persons. The second thing was to determine the potential effect of lead on NSKB and AXR pathways in lung cells at mRNA level and protein level in vivo and in vitro. The results of gene expression analysis in vivo study represent that, as expected, the significant increase, increase in NF cavity and HR mRNA level by approximately 60 and 65, respectively. At protein level, similarly, let increase the protein expression level. 
think if you can increase in the in, in the cavity and the HR protein by approximately 60 and 80 respectively. Uh, at uh, at in, in vitro in vitro level, uh, the result of gene expression represents the uh, treatment of cells with lead significantly increase the NF cavity and HR mRNA by approximately 60 and 55 percent respectively. At protein level, similarly, lead induced. Uh, increases in NF cavity and HR protein by approximately uh, 50 and 100 percent, respectively. Uh, to further uh, confirm that the induction of NF cavity and HR uh, by lead was associ associated with increased their down. Uh, stream with the target uh, such as I not and sib one a one we quantify the mRNA expression level of I not and sib one a one respectively and we found that late treatment significantly increased the I not and sib one a one mRNA level by approximately seventy five percent and forty five percent respectively. Our results demonstrated a significant increase in mRNA level and protein expression of NF cover and HR with late exposure in vivo and in vitro study, which was also associated with a significant increase in their regulated genes, their related genes, respectively. Similarly, previous study has demonstrated an increase in B53 INOS and Z1A1 mRNA expression level with late exposure in different cell lines. This results suggest the possible role of NF cavity and HR and late trigger immune response. Uh, so the, 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 the third aim was to explore the role of NF cavity and HR and late mediated pulmonary toxicity in vitro using genetics and chemical inhibitors. The, the, the result of NF cavity chemical inhibition by respiratory represents that late induced cell cycle arrest was attenuated when treated with respiratory, whereas uh, metformin does not. Uh, when, whereas the metformin also gives us the similar uh, result, will attenuate the cell cycle arrest induced by lead. The result of cell apoptosis analysis represents apoptotic cell uh, increase in lead treated cells. And when pre treated, the cells with misformin will increase, uh, it increase the lead induced apoptosis. And uh, whereas the, 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 the risk of the treatment does not reduce the vaccine. The result of cell oxidative stress analysis represents that the ROS generation increased in late treated cells, whereas, uh, whereas uh, it, it increased when pre treated with resveratrol, whereas increased with, uh, when pre treated with metformin. Uh, the previous results uh, evidenced by the ability of resveratrol to induce just a one mRNA level inhibition by three folds, as seen here. Uh, and we found that this forming treatment did not uh, uh, neither upregulate the just a and uh, neither upregulate the uh, or the, nor downregulate the B53 uh, mRNA expression. Furthermore, the effects of respiratory on late induced lung toxicity were associated with significant inhibition, uh, significant inhibition in NF cavity and HR down stream genes, INOS and sib one a one In an, in another hand, the effects of uh, metformin on late induced lung toxicity were associated with no significant uh, inhibition in sib one a one 
and the increase in late in the host ions. The second approach uh, in M3 was to, to determine the effect of any cannabis and its uh, silencing on late in the host line toxicity. Uh, at genetic uh, inhibition level, NF kappa B and HR knock down using sRNA uh, down regulate the basal uh, and lead in the use expression in HR and NF kappa B. Uh, importantly, induction of NF kappa B and HR mRNA by lead was inhibited by 70%. And 65 percent, respectively, by gene silencing. Furthermore, we found that HR and NSKB knockdown and significantly block the late in the use of apoptosis, as evidence, evidenced by reducing the percentage of apoptotic cells. Lockdown of NF cannabis significantly decreased, let in the increase uh, percentage of apoptotic cells from 19 to 12 uh, percent, uh, around uh, 37 uh, percent inhibition, while increase the percentage of health cells. The lockdown and the lockdown of uh, HR. Uh, significantly decrease the late increase the percentage of apoptotic cells from 19 to 10 percent, approximately 47 uh, percent inhibition, while increase the percentage of healthy uh, cells. Uh, additionally, we found that HR and NF kappa B knockdown significantly block the lead induced oxidative stress, evidenced by reducing the formation of ROS. The knockdown of NF kappa B significantly decreases the ROS formation in, uh, in the cells treated uh, with lead from 31% to 16.4. While the lockdown of HR significantly decreased the ROS formation in the cells treated with lead from 31 to 4.7. The inhibition of ROS for the production by HR and NF cavity lockdown was evidenced by restoring the oxidative stress. The antioxidant, uh, the antioxidant genes just uh, one. So our results demonstrate that late exposure inhibited uh, just uh, one uh, an antioxidant gene and induced ROS production. And, uh, and, and knockdown of uh, nf B and HR attenuate the late induced oxidative stress, suggesting that Lead uh, toxicity is mediated through NF kappa B and uh, HR. Our results were in agreement with previous uh, study showing that the change in expression level of antioxidant protein just the one play a key role in the induction of lung inflammation. Furthermore, a significant reduction, a significant reduction in the antioxidant gene. This one mRNA expression level was demonstrated in people chronically exposed to environment heavy metal. Uh, increasing our evidence uh, suggests that the change in oxidation balance in the tissue trigger apoptosis and play an uh, important, a major role in inflammation responses. In this regard, our results demonstrated that. Lead exposure uh, induced uh, B53 upregulation and apoptosis in the cells, and knockdown of nf B and HR significantly restored the induction of uh, B53. In agreement uh, with our results, it has 
identify the athlete in the US of total can be created through an increase of lead of B53 in vitro and in vivo studies that knock down of B53 attenuate of total induction, induction and the observation not only indicates that lead is strong to trigger the more of closing, but also strongly suggests that TB3 uh, plays an important role in lead induced uh, apoptosis. Now I will summarize the in vivo study, then uh, I will summarize also the in vivo study. In vivo study represents that when the treat, when treat the animal with lead and bed, uh, will induce the NFTRA uh, at mRNA level and protein level, uh, expression level, and uh, thereafter will increase the or modulate several genes involved in oxidative stress, apoptosis, uh, and inflammation. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, and, this, and this modulation or changes will lead to increase in our uh, reactive oxygen species production, uh, which evidenced uh, and apoptosis, which, which evidenced by low cytometry uh, analysis, uh, which, appear, which represents that the, uh, the lead induced, uh, the, the lead treated group. Uh, associated with an um, increase in the percentage of oxidative stress, production of oxidative stress, apoptosis, and inflammation. Uh, the lung, uh, as, as, uh, lung tissue, the hemogenate, lung tissue hemogenate represents that uh, increase in the tyrosine, which uh, involves in uh, production of nitrotyrosine, which are a biomarker for uh, uh, oxidative and migration stress in the lung, uh, whereas a decrease in the magnesium was associated, it has been associated with a decrease of intracellular, intracellular uh, calcium entry and then uh, increase and in intracellular calcium entry, which increase the ROS and RNS. And also the inflammation of the lung, uh, evidenced by the histopathological analysis, which represents that. Uh, severe lung inflammation and fibrosis. In vitro study results represent that when 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 we treat the, the, the cells with lead, uh, the, the NF cavity and HR uh, increases in mRNA and protein expression level, and uh, it will modulate and change several genes involved in uh, oxidative stress apoptosis and inflammation, and the effect of uh, lead to induce uh, GISTA and B53 blocked by uh, the resveratrol, and the effect of oxidative stress uh, induced by lead on the cells also blocked by resveratrol, and uh, blocked also the cell cycle arrays induced by lead, whereas the metformin only blocks the uh, cell cycle address induced by lead. Uh, the signaling uh, technique uh, NF cavity and HR, uh, RNA uh, block uh, the, uh, the effect of lead induced cell cycle arrays, oxidative stress, apoptosis, and uh, restore, and also the knockdown restoring the, the effect of lead. Uh, to induce alteration in just A and B53. That, this, this is the postulated mechanism of, of formulation of NFKB and H R transcription factor by lead. The conclusion of this study, uh, the current study demonstrated that oral lead can lead to lead accumulation in rat, uh, vital organ, and uh, uh, and the balance change in serum biomarker bio and histopathology. The lung where the most vulnerable uh, to toxic effects of lead at molecular and cellular level, lead exposure induced lung oxidative stress apoptosis and inflammation, lead exposure induced NF cavity and HR pathway in the lung cells at 
mRNA level and protein level in vivo and in vitro level. The inhibition of NSKB and HR either chemically using this protocol or genetically using this RNA significantly reduce the change from late induced mediated line toxicity. The results clearly indicate that late mediated mediated line toxicity are NSKB and HR dependent mechanisms. The current study reveals that the transcription factors uh, HR and NSKB could be used an early, as early biomarker for detecting immunotoxic effects of lead. Uh, actually, we present uh, some uh, results of this uh, thesis in different uh, conference. Uh, in uh, 2018, uh, in the Society of Toxicology, uh, we present uh, one uh, poster, and also in experimental biology in 2018, we present also one poster, and the third one we present the uh, the role uh, of NSKB and DHR in lead mediated immune toxic effect on uh, A549 lung cancer cells. Uh, this poster presented in Inter International Congress of Toxicology, and the fourth one. Uh, which for me, at any rate, they've been used inflammatory and of course, uh, this is the, uh, the preliminary data, which not present in this uh, presentation. Uh, unfortunately, this conference cancelled due to uh, COVID-19. Uh, the publication, uh, the journal publication, we, we published already one uh, uh, paper, the role of NSKB and HR transcription transcription factor uh, in lead induced lung toxicity in human lung cancer, uh, A549 cells, uh, in uh, toxicology mechanism and methods. Uh, to uh, the, sec the, the second and third uh, manuscript in, in the progress. Uh, now, uh, let me know uh, to thank. Uh, thank you very much, and uh, let me know to express my uh, acknowledgement in uh, Arabic uh, words. Bismillah uh, ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I will be after the end of this lecture. I will be able to give you the والتقدير إلى أستاذ الفاضل آه الأستاذ الدكتور آه صالح بن عبد الرحمن البخيت مشرف هذه الرسالة على ما قدمه ويقدمه من وقته وجهده ونصحه وإرشاده ومتابعته المستمرة إما كان له الأثر الأكبر في إخراج هذه الرسالة على هذه الصورة فله مني جزيل الشكر والعرفة كما يسعدني ويسعدني أن أتقدم كذلك بخالص الشكر والتقدير الى الاستاذ الفاضل الاستاذ الدكتور هشام بن محمد قرشي مشرف الرساله السابق على ما قدمه ويقدمه من دعم لا محدود ومتابعه مستمره بدايه من تقديم هذه الرساله كمقترح بحثي والى التوجيه والارشاد في التجارب المعمليه وتفسير النتائج والمراجعه والمساعده في نشر الابحاث المستله من هذه الرساله فله مني جزيل الشكر والعقاب. يسعدني كذلك ان اتقدم بخالص الشكر والتقدير الى الساده اعضاء لجنه المناقشه لما قدموه من توجيه وارشاد ومراجعه للرساله. كما اتقدم بالشكر والتقدير لجميع اعضاء هيئه التدريس بقسم علم الادويه والسموم والطاقم الاداري وزملائي طلاب الدراسات العليا. أشكر كذلك مركز حيوانات التجارب ومركز البحوث في كلية الصيدلة على دعمهم ومساندتهم كما أشكر كذلك مدينة الملك عبد العزيز للعلوم والتقنية على دعمهم للمشروع الشكر موصول لعمل مركز مراقبة السموم الشؤون الصحية بجازان وزارة الصحة على الموافقة على التفرغ لإكمال دراسة الدكتوراه في هذا القسم المميز والكلية العريقة وختاما أشكر عائلتي جميعهم وأخص بالذكر والدة 
ولدي وزوجتي وابنائي راكان وخالد وعبد العزيز ونادر على صبرهم ابناء دراستي للدكتوراه الشكر الجزيل للحضور شكرا شكرا جزيلا. شكرا ابراهيم على هذا الاوبن و اعطي الان عشر دقائق تحت باب الاسئله للاخوان الاودينس اذا يعني اذا كان في اي اسئله ممكن نضغط على الريز هاند على اساس انه نعرف مين اللي حيسال وممكن نقدمه بالتركيز في اسئله ابراهيم معي انت؟ اي معك معك دكتور ايوه اذا اذا كان في اي تلاحظ اذا حد تقدم باي اسئله دكتور صالح كان ممكن اسال سؤال ولا؟ تفضل تفضل دكتور هشام تفضل السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته First of all, I would like to thank Salah and Dr. Ibrahim Atafi uh, for inviting me to attend uh, this uh, uh, defense exam. Uh, second, I would like to congratulate Ibrahim for the nice work. Uh, it's really uh, my pleasure uh, to have such a nice uh, work at the quality, at the quantity. And uh, just uh, as Dr. Salah mentioned, from my experience working with Atafi before, he's a hard worker student. Uh, he wants to learn, uh, and he's uh, very keen to uh, do the experiment and uh, spend the night. And I remember still, he was coming sometimes to the weekend, sometimes night to, uh, to do the experiment. So, uh, Ibrahim, well done, and again, congratulations. So, I have one simple question, which is, um, you would think, Ibrahim, that we can apply uh, this kind of mechanism of uh, involvement of AR and NFKB to other heavy metals. Yes, actually, uh, uh, the, the result uh, similarly uh, occurred with the uh, uh, previous study, but uh, they used uh, cadmium instead of uh, lead. Uh, the other, the other uh, metals also uh, sharing with lead, uh, some mechanism like my mickey. It will uh, interchange uh, with uh, other elements in the uh, in the body, like zinc and magnesium, calcium. Uh, so I think yes, uh, it's can it's can it's can be. Thank you. You are welcome. Shukran, 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 تعلق بالبرزنتيشن خارج اللجنه ممكن نضغط على الريس هذا هذا البنفر اذا كان في احد It looks like no questions. Can I ask more questions or not? Yes, yes, for 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 And I thought for and I forgot to mention yani, I yani, uh, I'm very happy today to see my old friends. I still friend with Dr. Salah, Dr. Naif, Dr. Sabri, Dr. Mohammed Harbi, all they are my colleagues and actually my mentors before. So I'm very happy today to see them, yani. Uh second, uh to Ibrahim, like um I'm not sure what you will, will be your uh, your uh, your future plan. So are you going to have uh, heavy metals as an uh, area of research for the future, or are you going to have, for example, like change to others? And uh, tell me, tell me more about this. Your future plans for uh, research widening. Uh, actually, uh, uh, this uh, this thesis uh, was the result of this uh, uh, study. Uh, it was generate uh, a new hypothesis. So uh, we try to uh, change or uh, or uh, 
shifted from uh, in vitro and in vivo study to clinical. Uh, we try to make an, uh, a trial uh, on the uh, tissue obtained from lung cancer patients and to see the lead uh, concentration and to, uh, to see also the expression of HR and NFKB. And if we can possibly, possibly uh, decrease the when decrease the lead, it will decrease uh, the mortality or at least increase the uh, effectiveness of anti-cancer in lung uh, cancer patients. Uh, as we know, the, the first lung cancer uh, uh, it's considered the first uh, cancer uh, at mortality uh, rate. So uh, hopefully. Uh, Future work, uh, it, it will be on uh, clinical, on clinical uh, diet. Uh, one more question. This will be the last question, I promise. Now, um, I don't believe that any thesis has no impact or value unless it can give some recommendation to the society, either to the science community, to the government. So what is this uh, take home message from your, uh, from your thesis? And what's your recommendation to the government, to the science, to the community, to the people about what is the take home message? Uh, what are you going to tell us uh, to protect ourselves from such a toxicity of lead or recommendation maybe to the government to improve, to reduce this kind of toxicity? And thank you so much and good luck. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Doctor, for uh, this uh, very important uh, question. Uh, in this regard, uh, actually, uh, we use the uh, not uh, highly dose in, uh, in vivo and also in petrol. We use only a small uh, concentration of the, to, to see the initial uh, effect, and also we use an oral uh, lead uh, in, in, in vivo to represent the real situation in environment. Uh, so. Uh, Actually, uh, we we can advise uh, that either heavy uh, beta, beta determination in the serum or uh, the expression level of NFKB and HR uh, may use uh, as an early biomarker uh, for uh, uh, immune uh, system alteration or for it is more it is induction as preventative uh, purposes. I think I, I answered the, the, your question uh, for uh, Sean. Uh, thank you. Yes, and I'll leave more questions for the panel committee. For the exam committee. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor uh, Sean, for the questions. Uh, okay, we give uh, two more minutes for any further questions. Assalamu uh, alaikum. I have just uh, one question for Ibrahim. Uh, he mentioned that we use. Um, uh, those like Timothy to check the uh, abortion and the function uh, that result from the toxicity. Uh, I just wonder if we use the positive or negative control during the uh, experiment, uh, or what's the type of the positive control to assess the abortion and the function. Yes, uh, actually, we use uh, two controls. Uh, treated uh, control and untreated uh, control, uh, and we, we only we, we take the uh, the cells, uh, the attached cells, not uh, not the floating cells. Uh, I think you uh, I answered the, the question, isn't it? Yes, yes. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you.
if there is no further questions, Thank you.